She my GTA chums, the Overflowed iMorgan is on discount, 1.5 million. Uh, compared to the Itali for nearly a million more, it could be just the ticket. Now this is a nice little car. Um, it's a, like a bit of an electric kind of petrol car, I think. So that is inspirational. Listen to that sound, it's got a kind of little engine noise and it's got like a little electric engine. You can hear the motor and the petrol engine. So let's let's just upgrade it to the max. Let's just do that and see where we are. That would be nice. So if we just go Q to modify. It's in the sports class, just like the Italia RSX. But the Italia RSX is, of course, a better car, much faster, but it costs a lot more. So what can we do with this? Um, front bumpers, let's let's just go straight in. Straight, let's dive straight in, go for the front bumpers. Let's go for primary splitter. I don't know, that's not bad. I like that little red tow hook. Um, what about carbon or primary, I think? Carbon's quite nice, isn't it? It's got carbon, even though, even though it looks the same as plastic. Um, let's go diffusers. Yeah, let's see what we've got here. Oh, that's 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 interesting, isn't it? Mega diffuser. Mega Mageddon diffuser. Um, Mark II, Mark III, I don't know. It's going to be one of those, I think. Wow, there's a lot of diffusers there. Carbon GT, just black, I think, is probably the what we want, maybe. Oh, it's got some green accents. I quite like a bit of an accent. Yeah, let's do that. That's got some accents on it. Okay, chassis. So, we've got roll cage kind of business. I like the internal, so I don't know if it suits a roll cage, really, but what have we got? Some, some nice race options there, if you want to do a race build. Don't think we're going to do that today. I think we're going to keep... Wow, there's a lot of stuff there. Yeah, so lots of options there. Engine... Oh, not not even upgraded that. What am I doing? What am I like? It's a brand new car. Uh, on my second character, so I've run out of garage space, of course. These exhausts... I quite like the stock exhausts. I'd probably colour them in a little bit. I wouldn't go for the circular ones. I think stock is good, basically. Um, what's this? Get grill. We can turn it black. Well, that's good. The plastic, like the carbon. I mean, carbon is what it is down below, but plastic makes it darker. But let's just do carbon. Simple. Hood. We've got any nice vents. That's like a line vent. I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like that. That's another line vent. Two lines. That's more like it. I think that is the one for me. Quad vent. Lights. Oh, live iris. Live iris. This green is a decent colour. I like it on this. Um, we, could do that. we could do that livery. It's not that bad. Um, yeah, not that bad. It's, it's good, yeah. Be positive. I don't know. I think we could do something with some of these. That's a bit too much. The bull. The oh, kitty. That is the one for me. I would put that on, but I've done that recently. That is an awesome livery. That is the only one. Um, Ragarum, I like the Ragarum one as well. The Muscle, that is decent. Oh, the Shark. Oh, Shark, I would love that. I mean, I don't know. I don't think the Livery's probably his... Actually, he would do that, I reckon. But I think it limits what you can customise it as. If you, I'm going to use the Shark one eventually. Um, so, let's go. We need to go with a Black Mirror. And it's already got a Black Mirror. We don't need that. We need to change the plate. Just to colour it in, we can't put a private plate in because it's a secondary character. <coughs> so, primary colour. Well, let's have a look at... I was going to do something interesting, wasn't I? Oh, we can do a bright colour on the bottom and the black on the top. Or a dark colour. It doesn't have to be black. Oh, lava red. We've not done that in a while. We'll have that. We'll have a bit of that. What do we do on the secondary, though? Probably a matte colour. Because, you know what those... Oh, it's even the matte colours it up a bit funny, doesn't it? With that black, you see. Uh, midnight purple, that. That's not even black. Okay, so black it colours up a little bit, but let's let's wang it on, why not? I think it looks decent. Um trim colour, okay, this is good. Gives us some options, so I'm tempted towards white, but what about not red? Yellow, orange, what are we thinking? A yellow is probably too much yellow. There's gotta be something in here that's gonna be a nod towards something a bit interesting. Mariner blue, no. Surf blue. Tempted. I'll put surf blue on. Just see if there's anything else. But I think we're done there. It's just white is good, isn't it? 
Our surf blue is probably not good enough, is it? Trim colour, I'm just going to go white. It looks a bit weird. Reverse, reverse. This is a cream. Ice white, frost white, that's the one. Okay, good. Um, what else? Crew emblem on the stores. Roof, primary roof. Oh, that's nice. I like the primary roof. I'm tempted by that. But carbon roof, actually the carbon roof gives us a much cleaner look. You see, because it's, it's got that funny tint to it because we've used a metallic. So I'm going to go carbon roof for that reason. Skirts. I mean, these are not primary skirt. I don't know. I think if we have the carbon skirt, it kind of goes with the theme that we've got going around the outside. Even though it doesn't make a massive amount of difference. Spoiler. I mean, you don't need a massive spoiler on this. That spoiler is interesting looking. I quite. I mean, we could go there. I think it looks all right. Got any lip spoilers? <laughs> um, that's that's a bit weird. So I think I'm going to go for that one. It looks a bit like. Uh, yeah. It's a, no, maybe it's too weird. No, it's too weird, isn't it? Tuna spoiler it is. Or do we want a black one to go with our black accents? Yeah. There we go. Carbon. Sun strips. If we go sun strips, we want a black one. Globe oil, overflowed, plastic, sun strip. I don't know. Um, maybe we should just do it. Put an oh, look at that. That's nice. You got a little crown on the side. I'm a king. There we go. We're going to put that on. Um, what else? Suspension is lowered to the max. That's what it looks like normal. Um, wheels. So these are quite original rims. I'm tempted to keep them. Um, tire enhancements, bulletproofs, tire smoke. We want a red tire smoke with this build. I want them to be black though. I think grey is alright, it's acceptable. We could get away with it. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to pick a new tire. Um, track rims. We want something that is a bit similar to that. I mean, that would be ideal as super lux, but it's been done to death. Uh, we need something else perhaps. Not that one. Oh, it's not unlocked. Nothing's unlocked because it's my rubbish character. Oh, we are in Tesco value land. That is not good, is it? Try the tuners. No, they're not the ones. It, street is what we wanted. Oh, we're back in the world of Tesco value rims. The Superlux is excellent, though. Hype 5 woodwork. Look at that. Look at the clipping with that. Can you see that? Weird. Of course you can. It's my screen. Uh, Mercy Concave is decent, and Sugoi, I'm tempted by the Mercy, um, let's do, oh that, that's pretty good, with the shiny bit, Deep Flake, Deep Flake Reverse, Concave Racer, I'm going to go with the Deep Flake I think, it's got, it's got a deep, end, deep bit to it, it's nice, wheel colour, black is what we want, Tires, we've done that. Tire enhancement is done. Windows, I think we can limo these ones out. What's in the back? Anything? No, nothing. Good. Excellent. That is it. We're done. Complete. We're going to have a look at it. Uh, it's probably going to be dark outside by now because we've been doing this for so long. But we're going to do a bit of a drive around. You can see from the colours that this looks excellent. It's a nice looking car. I'm not sure about the chunky back end. The back end is a bit funny looking, but. You know, if, you've, if you know this car, the iMorgan, if you've come across this in real life, you know, maybe you know it. Um, I'm assuming it's all-wheel drive, but I really don't know. What about the lights? Well, those are, those are nice lights. The back lights are good as well. Now we're going to kind of ruin it a little bit by testing the all-wheel drive. Let's do it. I'm assuming it's all-wheel. Yeah, it is. Because it's an electric. It's got to have an electric motor and a petrol motor because they're both working at the same time. It would have to be all-wheel drive. It would be disappointing if it wasn't. Because that is the ideal setup for a sports car. Brucey, my man. I don't want to talk to you. You're a fool. Not my man. Is he? It's your man. Anyway, it's a quick car. It's a quick little car. Just for getting around session in. It's not something that I'd pick to, to race. It's sports class. This is already ram-packed. Jam-packed. Um, for 1.5 million, honestly, I would get the Itali... Um, RSX or the Itali GTO rather than this, but let's have a look. 
Let's have a think about it first. See how slippy it is on those corners. I think it's got a bit more grip than the RSX and, and GTO. It seems that way. Come on. So look at decent enough acceleration for a semi electric car. I like the engine sound, how you can hear the engine of the petrol and the electric engine. So that is excellent. And it's a good job I came out at night. It's not because I'm about to go to bed and I want to get this video finished. It's simply because it looks great. <laughs> Honest. Been doing videos. Anyway, this is a good car. You need to consider it. But for 1.5 million, I'd say value wise, you really need to like whatever car this is in real life, which I don't recognize it really. It's a strange looking car. I Googled it, didn't recognize. So, gotta, gotta be honest, that's it's not probably not a car I've come across ever. Um, so, yeah, very nice, very nice little car. You won't be disappointed, but it is a bit costly even when on discount. And you need to like the customization of what it offers and the overall look of the car. But, but you won't be disappointed with the performance. You know, it's it's it, you know it's not got a lot of understeer. If anything, maybe it's maybe it's got it about the steering about right, and the grip is good. It's got good traction. So it's probably I would assume the speed. Uh, it's just not got the acceleration or top speed. It's probably top speed. Maybe if it's more acceleration does seem quite decent. Um, that makes it not so competitive in the hyper competitive sports class. So, are you going to buy it off base for that? Maybe, maybe not. But I quite like it. It's fun. I'm glad I've finally bought it because it's, it's a more interesting car than I realised because <coughs> it's got the, um, the electric engine and the petrol engine. And, and there are other cars that are like that, but none of them seem to have the right engine sound because you can hear the electric and the petrol engine, which is what I imagine they sound like. Look at that, I've smashed this thing to smithereens. Let's have a look into, at the internals just to finish it off. Um, internals, got to be honest, it'd be, be a bit, it's a bit disappointing. The steering wheel is quite nice that it's got that um, crown in the middle of it, like you're yeah, the king or something. It, it's based on a Gumper Nefali Methanol Electric Sports Car. So now you know, never heard of it, never heard of it, which is why I've never bought it, but I just got bored and it's the only car on discount that I don't own. <laughs> anyway, I've, got, I've said enough, I've said enough. Give me a comment on what you think of this car, this customization. Have I sold it to you? Um, is, it, is it right for you? Is it not? Is it terrible? <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a most excellent day.